I have lost more than nine people in my family during this COVID-19 season. And folks have asked me, how have I gotten past it? How have I gotten through? And it is truly by God's grace and mercy, through prayer and understanding that God wants my attention and he wants me to listen to what he is saying and listen to his voice. And when I do that, I know that it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about him and bringing souls to him and so it was a wake-up call you know I can't really speak to the difficulty and the the hurt that I felt that pain was just unimaginable to lose people that were part of my life and a huge part of my life but I know that God has a purpose for me in that pain and that's why I am continuing to pray and t continuing to encourage others to pray during this difficult time. And I'm claiming victory over the virus, victory over this virus, because I know that God is in the midst of it all. Now is the time to get closer to God. Now is the time to use our knowledge of the Bible and of our relationship with Christ to step in and intercede and to talk with one another, to be friends with one another, to encourage one another, and to make sure that we are saving souls because this is a time of urgency. We need to be speaking out, we need to speak up, and we need to be vocal about what God says and what the Bible says. And if you do that, then we know that God is going to intercede on our behalf. He is going to step in and provide all that we need because we know that this is a time when he's been trying to get our attention. And in trying to get our attention, we have to make sure that we are uh, paying attention, right? We hear the call, we hear what is being asked of us. And so we need to make sure we are listening to God's voice, not man's voice, not anybody else's voice. We need to listen to God's voice and we need to do what God says. And he wants us to speak up and to speak out and to make sure that we are present in this moment and being a part of the movement means that we have to pray and we have to speak up.